What's going on everybody, Darkstar Lou here, bringing you another Code Vein video, and much like my first video, this is going to be a bit different than what I'm normally used to putting up on my channel. And instead of a build video, which I do have a very specific idea of a kind of build I'm going to go for with this character, this is going to be a character creation kind of video. And I'm going to show you what probably about 15 to 20 minutes of me messing around with the settings I'm going to show you what I came up with. I made a character from my favorite game of all time. I'm not going to tell you what game it is. I'm just going to show you. And chances are, you would probably figure out who I'm trying to go for here. Using the limited resources that Code Vein gives you, this is my best iteration of Yuna, Final Fantasy X. My all-time favorite Final Fantasy. And like seriously clinging at a very close number two is Final Fantasy VII. Both games are just phenomenal in their own right. I just love the story and the characters of X just a bit more. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I created this version of Yuna. Now what I'm just going to do is go ahead and go through each option and show you what I did to kind of make her into what she is. So if you like it, you can create her. Just follow along. Physique, I just brought it all the way down to zero. Under skin, this was the default skin from that default model that I chose. But if you chose a different model, um, this is the location under pink brown that I made her skin. Her hair from the top, it is the sixth one down on the far right. By default, this was already the, the color that it is. and I, This one was a bit different, but there is a location under brown. And I moved this from 50 to 40 as there was, it looked a bit even in her braid from, you know, from the dark blue to the light blue and moving it to 40 seemed like it gave it more of an, a, more of a, uh, exact proportion as to, you know, what Yuna would look like moving it down to 30 would pretty much remove the light blue altogether. So leaving it at 40 was probably the best under face. This is the one I chose right here. And as it more, as it more closely resembles Yuna under eyes, Hitting the triangle button to get the heterochromatic eyes is important because anybody who knows Final Fantasy X or who Yuna is knows that she has two different color eyes. She has a green right eye and a blue left eye. So this is the pupil I chose for both eyes. Right from the top, it's just a second one down on the far right uh, pupil. This was the default one that it was on. I just moved it over here for the whiteness of the eyes. For the iris color, this is the color in blue that I chose. Used the same thing for both. Just kept the highlight intensity to 50. And this is the one I chose for her, you know, for the little shine in her eye. From the right is the fifth one down from the top. It's the same for both eyes. All of this is the same for both eyes with the exception of the, you know, the obvious color. This is the option for green that I chose for both options. Now, the only two things I moved here was I believe the size was at default five. I moved it to six and the cat eyes I removed all the way down to zero to give it a bit more roundness to her eyes. Eyebrows, there's a lot of eyebrows, but as you can see, they're not numbered or anything. On the far right, I'm a little bit, you see the, the slider, I'm a bit more than halfway down. It's just, you know, long, thin, I actually shortened her hair just so I could, I could personally get the eyebrows that I thought closely resembled Yuna before putting her, you know, this hairstyle back on. Just something long, thin, covers the whole length of the eye. That's the choice I chose. Makeup, I didn't do anything here. Kept the default eyelashes. No scars. Face paint, I went for this because it gave her, you know, a bit of lipstick. And I just chose this option in makeup too, to give it a, just, just a little bit of color. Under accessories, I had to sacrifice her necklace. I know she wears a necklace, but it only gives you 12 points, and each one of these three options takes up four apiece, so I don't have a spare. Obviously, for the braid, it came into the hair, little extension accessories and chose this middle option right here of the three braids because it was in the right location. For the top part of her hair, I went to the first selection in Indigo. And for the bottom portion, went two spots above into Azul and chose the top option there. In the advanced settings, I came into here and you know you hit the X to go into editing mode. All I did was move the R1, L1 a little bit to, more to the right. So it gave it a little more, you know, a little 
little separation from inside the hair. I also moved the, uh, you know, I changed the length of it a little bit because I know it actually rests over her collar. But if I tried to extend it any longer, it'll actually just go into her shoulder. So it doesn't actually work that way. You know, so I gave it a little bit more length, moved it a little bit. So it looks like it's actually just, you know, it's coming out, you know, it's part of her hair. For her pink frills, I know she has, you know, it's, it's pink that goes into white on her um her sleeve you know her um her long sleeves but the, you know again this is code vein that's not really an option that i have so i went you know just for some pink frills on her arms this is the option i chose right here and for the oops i actually changed the color actually i can show you from here but same one you know, just do one on the right and on the left head over to the color and the one i went for is under punk it's the second option didn't go into the advanced settings at all. Her clothing, there really wasn't much. There was really only one choice for Yuna. The other ones just, just didn't work. Yeah, I changed the way, you know, she has a white top and she had a blue, you know, blue bottom skirt, but you know, the skirt in code vein would be replaced by pants. So I tried to do the best I could. And I went with pink for the, you know, for the linings. I know she has pink, you know, pink flowers on the bottom right side of her you know, of her skirt, but she doesn't have that here. This is the option I chose, the very first option under pink. And for the pants, I went for interior three, the middle blue option. Because I you know she has, you know, she has a dark blue skirt. For the first and last option here, I went with black, just under interior seven. You can pick whatever you want, just whatever, whatever black option there is, because she wears black boots. Now, the reason why they're both the exact same is because you can two-tone these boots, as you can see. But Yuna has just straight white boots. Uh, straight black boots, my apologies. Purifier mask, mask frame, doesn't matter. Just, you know, whatever, whatever you like. I like to just choose something that doesn't cover her entire face so you can see her eyes. And the voice, this is, I went through multiple voice lines of all 10 voices. This is the only one that I found that slightly resembles anything Yuna. Again, none of them sound like Yuna, but that's the one that I thought most sounded like her. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys, you know, use this creation if you like my Yuna iteration. Of course, you know, I had to work with what I work with what I was given. But if you did like it and if you found it useful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care.